Good day everyone. Once again, welcome back to your virtual learning class. So we are done discussing the different types of salads. Now, our lesson for today is all about the types of salad dressings. Now, when we say salad dressings, these are liquid or semi-liquids used to flavor salads. The flavors of most salad dressings are not modified by cooking and the quality depends directly on the quality of the ingredients used. Most salad dressings are made primarily of oil and acid with other ingredients added to modify the flavor or texture. At this moment, let's now discuss the different ingredients of salad dressings. So here are some ingredients that are being used to make salad dressings. First is the oils. Oils should have mild and sweet flavor. Strongly flavored oil can make excellent salad dressing but not appropriate with every food. Examples of this are corn oil, soybean oil, canola oil, peanut oil, olive oil, and walnut oil. The next ingredient is the vinegar. Vinegar should have a good, clean, and sharp flavor. Most salad vinegar are about 5% acidity, but some range from 7 to 8%. Our next ingredient is the lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice may be used in place of or in addition to vinegar in some preparation. Next is the egg yolk. Egg yolk is an essential ingredient in mayonnaise and other emulsifier dressings. For safety purposes, pasteurized eggs should be used. And lastly, the seasonings and flavorings. Fresh herbs are preferable to dried herbs. Other flavorings include mustard, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and various kinds of cheeses. Now let's proceed and discuss with the different types of salad dressings. Let's see. The first salad dressing is the French dressing. Basic vinaigrette is a simple mixture of oil, vinegar and seasonings which is an example of temporary emulsions the ratio of oil to vinegar is three parts oil to one part vinegar however it can be changed depending upon the taste less oil makes the dressing tartar while more oil makes it taste milder and oilier the second type of salad dressing is the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is an emulsified dressing. It is more often served as the base for wide variety of other dressings and these mayonnaise based dressings are generally thick and creamy. They are usually used in bounced salad. And lastly, cooked salad dressing. Cooked salad dressing is similar with appearance to mayonnaise, but it has a tartar flavor while mayonnaise is richer and milder. Cooked dressing is made with little or no oil and with a starch thickener. Example of this salad dressing is the mixture of all-purpose cream, milk, and cooked with starch and flour. Now, according to the United States Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act commercial, salad dressing is the emulsified semi-solid food 
prepared from edible vegetable oil, an acidifying agent, one or more of the egg yolks containing ingredients, and a cooked or partly cooked starchy paste prepared with a food starch, tapioca flour, wheat flour, rye flour, or any two or more of this. Salad dressing may be seasoned with salt, sugar, mustard, paprika, and monosodium glutamate. Commercial salad dressing must contain not less than 30% fat. Some homemade salad dressings are made with milk or cream. To sum it up, there are a variety of dressings based on neither mayonnaise nor oil and vinegar. They include dressings on sour cream and on fruit juice and yogurt and low-calorie dressings. The important thing is that these dressings should have well-balanced flavor with a pleasant tartness and should harmonize and complement the salad which they are served. That's all for now, grade 9. Thank you, stay safe, and God bless. See you on our live discussion.